Hello guys, Megagov1702 here. At, uh, in the Arma 3 audio tweaking thread it was brought up to my attention that uh, Arma 3 weapon tails have a pop to them in the end. Let's take a listen. Yes, there is a pop. It's very quiet and hard to hear. So what I did is I imported the audio into my program, I compressed it and made it louder so that you can hear the quiet part, the quiet parts better. And let's uh, take a listen to that. Now why does it do a pop like this? In order to explain this, I'll explain how speakers work and uh, how amplitude affects speakers. Now what we have here is the amplitude, it's the signal strength and this is the time. This is a signal which is getting quieter over time and as you can see it gets closer and closer to the middle line which is the, the speaker's neutral position, okay? Uh, number two over here is the same but in, but in this case while the signal is getting quieter it does not go anywhere close to the neutral position. So when the sound file ends the speaker snaps back into a neutral position and creates the the, qu the quick pop because the speaker always wants to be in a neutral, neutral position. The amplitude is is what it's what pulling the speaker inside and pushing it outside. Here's a nice video showing that. See that? See how the speaker is going inside and outside? Now what what would happen if you just push the speaker outside and let it go? It snaps back in and creates that pop. Now why is that in Arma 3? Well in Arma 3 the sound tails are kind of sucky. I don't know, this is basic audio stuff, but they didn't think of that. Um, I imported the MK200 weapons tail of the Meadows, and let's take a listen. You can very quietly hear the pop. I did it again. I compressed the audio and make the quiet parts louder. Let's listen to this. There you have it. The clean, the very hard and harsh pop. You will, You never want that. Now, how do we avoid that? In all audio programs, there's a thing called fade out. Okay, let's. I, I'll make a very short fade out. I make it 20 milliseconds. Actually, I make it 10 milliseconds. This is a very very short fade out. And let's let's uh, look how it let's look how it looks like and how it sounds like. See, the pop is still there, but it's softer. It's it's more bassy. When I do reverb, I usually have a fade out of a lot a lot of seconds. But for the sake of this uh, this video, let's just make it 500 milliseconds. That's still fairly short. That's half a second. Let's take a look how it looks like and what it sounds like, especially. See that? Do you hear that? No pop. Nothing. This is basic stuff, and this is this is how it should be done. Always have a fade out at the end of your of your samples because you never know how close the end and the end waveform is to the zero. I, I don't even know how they ended up with this waveform, but whatever. This is the video. I, have, I hope I could explain to you guys why the pop is happening and how to avoid it if you're doing sound. Have a nice day.